Hey, welcome to DIY RVing Home, Camper's Life. My name's Greg. Today I'm in my shop here at La Posa South, Quartzsite, Arizona, where we are wintering. And I got a repair to do on a black tank wand. Now, uh, we picked this up and we've only used it a handful of times. And I went to pull it out of the basement when we were cleaning up the basement the other day. And uh, the head broke off of it. So, instead of tossing it, I thought, well, I could just fix it real quick, and uh, that way uh, I'm not wasting that money. I mean, not everything is disposable. I mean, let's just fix it and reuse it, right? So, i uh, show you what it looks like. Is uh, It didn't fully get uh, glued when it was uh, put together, so it was able to, uh, I think it just fell and hit the ground a little bit and cracked it and it finally broke off. So what I'm going to do is on the inside, I'm going to come around to you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But right here is the rest of the um, piece of tubing that it was glued to. I'm going to work on trying to get that uh, cleared out. That way I can actually slip this all the way back on. I will uh, straighten this up and uh, then we'll use some epoxy to glue it in properly. So let me uh, sit back down and we'll uh, get on uh, trying to get this removed. Now I've got some different tools. Got some picks, um, little files. Uh, I got, do have some sandpaper, uh, a rotary rasp, you know, the drill, and a jigsaw. So let's dive in. Oh, and by the way, yes, I've already used some sanitary wipes, wiped it all down uh, before starting the project. So let's uh, see if we can't uh, get this fixed. So I used my rasp to run it down to thin up the side and I was able to get my uh, pick in there. Just kind of start uh, prying it a little bit. So it looks like we're winning this battle to get this removed. Sit back down I'll keep going. I might need to go get some needle nose pliers. Nope. Look at that. All right, I got it completely out. And really, I don't see any glue, uh, except for at the very bottom. Let's see, right here. See that white? That's where it looks like some of the glue, well, see, even that's scraping off. So really, there wasn't much there. Let's go ahead and, so that slid on. How far did that slide in? All the way down. Let me uh, take my jigsaw. We'll cut this off. Boy, this project is going to be a little bit quicker and easier. I just threw that away than uh, what I expected. And I'm just going to let the blade do the cut, and I don't want to force it. There we go. Ah, pick that piece up. Put that in the garbage. Make sure it's still going to fit on nice. There we go. And yeah, it's going all the way down. Boy, that was a lot easier than I expected. Next, I'm just going to take some sandpaper and kind of rough it up. This will allow the epoxy to grip and bite in. I'll do the same thing on 
on the inside here. Got it roughed up. Darn wind. All right, let's get stuff out of the way that we don't need. Clean up our uh, little bit of mess that we've got. Now, I've got some JB Weld plastic weld that I'm gonna be using. There's not much left, but not really gonna need that much to do this project. So, that there. Probably gonna have to get a new one when this is all said and done. Okay, got the rag. Now, what I'm gonna use to mix is actually my pick. I'll just mix it, we'll apply it, and then uh, I can just clean that off with uh, denatured alcohol or something like that. Okay. Yep. Oh, there's enough, yeah. For sure. And we'll retire that tube. Let's go ahead and mix her. Makes her good. Now, some may think that this might be kind of stupid because I am shoving this into the black tank and, uh, you know, what if that head come off? Well, looking at how that head was attached to that piece of uh, tubing on that wand before, I'm amazed it didn't break and fall inside the black tank before that so um, this could have been just a fluke on this uh, particular wand um, I'm gonna hope that um, there is a link in the description below where you can get these wands I'll kind of like it because it does spray everywhere um, to help uh, keep the inside of that tank clean clean the sensors off uh, right now we're stationary so we won't be using it right this second but come when uh, we do pull the trailer over to the dump station, it's going to get a real good bath for sure. So I've got it uh, mixed up as best as I uh, think it's going to get. So just get a little bit of it. Oh, and as you notice, I did put this on a piece of tape um, that I'm working off of so that when it's all said and done, I can just peel this off, throw it away. Go. I just got some in there. We're just gonna go around and make sure all of it all over every little bit of section in there. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but it's there. Now, next, I want to take. And it's just kind of like uh, plumbing, you know, with PVC. Go ahead and uh, you know put your adhesive on both uh, pieces. That way, you can make sure that you do get a 100% complete contact. And there we go, it's all the way around. And I'm going to just take it and twist it as I put it on. That'll make sure that it goes all the way down. Give it a little bit of a twist. That makes sure that it also uh, well mixes together. Let's put it that way. I don't know the proper term for that. I'll take a little bit more and just kind of fill over the joint right there, and I just kind of make a little smooth transition between the two, so it's not getting caught on anything when you're pulling it out. That's yuck, yuck. You know what I mean? And really, I mean, I'm doing this on this wand right here, fixing this, but this JB Welp is excellent product. I've used it on uh, quite a few different things. I'm very impressed. Uh, there's a chainsaw that uh, the gas tank was in, integrated into the handle, and part of the handle was breaking, and then you couldn't find the new. Uh, 
uh, handle tank combination for the chainsaw. Uh, well, I laid that stuff in there, and I mean, this chainsaw does get abused. Um, and uh, it, it was a good year, year and a half, and uh, still looked as good as the day that I, when I fixed it. So, all right, I've got this um, glued with the epoxy and now as you can see right there I kind of just filled the transition between the two so it's a little bit smoother now it's, all it is is just let it sit there and wait alright I just set that off to the side so it's uh, not gonna accidentally fall on something or get damaged um, while it's drying something I like to do is I'm just gonna leave this uh, tape on the board or on the table uh, with my uh, pick there and then I can just come back and I can check it and that'll tell me when that's cured. Um, when this is nice and hard, um, then I know that that one is done. So now I've given it time for the JB Weld to start setting up. It's still a little tacky, still just a little soft, but that's fine. Um, I know that it is going to feel fully cure, so I can go ahead and call the project complete. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put this away, let it sit there. It's going to um, cure you know, overnight and be 100%. Uh, we're not going to be using this right away, so um, the next time I get ready to use it though, I don't have to worry about it being broken and have to fix it or have to go buy another one. Um, and all I'm going to do is just scrape my uh, pick here, fill the tape and toss it and we'll call the project done. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Until next time, happy capping.